Hey everyone, it's Donnie, and um, I wanted to do a little video here to show you how I actually used to do my diamond painting when I was in the uh, living room. Uh, what I used was one of these when I did it, and um, I'm not using, I'm going to give the example, I'm just going to finish up this little section here that I'm working on this diamond painting, but it was so convenient because I had a um, cheat sheet on the lid here so I could see which which ones coincided with the ones, which symbol coincided with what was in here. And the area I was working on, I would just have those containers popped up and I could see what they were um, by from the top as well if I wanted to look but all I needed to do was look on my cheat sheet and I knew which one went to what so I had all these things open and I didn't use a tray I I went directly from inside of these and I'll show you how that works okay cuz see here I this is the confetti portion of this section there's just a bunch of symbols and stuff that just have one to five and that's all that it needs so I'm gonna grab um, 3608 and we will show you what I'm talking about okay so it works best if your container does not have a lot in it if you can see in this one it's towards the bottom I mean you can do it but you're gonna make a mess if it's completely filled all the way to the top I just take oh, that, I'm not using that I just take my um, diamond pen and I go like that and I get it oh there you are I switched around where my camera is it was over here and now I have it over here let's see and you just stab at it a couple of times and it um come on you can obviously you know there's a diamond on there yeah so it it, it just brought it up now I don't remember which one I was doing <laughs> All right, this is uh, 3608, which is this funny Y symbol. Yeah, but it made it just so much easier for me because I would, it was too easy to spill. Now, a lot of the time, I mean, some of the time, you'll end up getting one upside down. Um, you just have to watch that. But most of the time, it won't pick it up unless it's on the round, the rounded side. It won't grab it unless it, it gets it the correct way see so I mean it's just just um, something I wanted to show you all because I thought it's pretty neat I've not seen anyone you know doing that on their videos or anything you know someone will like grab one if it's flat down inside the container if they just need one but this doesn't have to be empty to the point where you can see the bottom it's um, you're able to do this with even, I just did this in a container that was, you know, three quarters full. Uh, it might be quicker when it's lower to the bottom because you don't have to push all the way down to the bottom like you do on, on the other ones. You'll have to go deeper in. But I think it's quick. It's easy. And it's actually might be a good... Um, Thing to try if you're traveling like I think if you were on a road trip I would probably even try doing something like this by just holding it my only concern is if we went over a bump or something or got into an accident that my beads would go everywhere but other than that um I I used it when I did the um the painting of me and my friend my very first custom I did and uh, I did that's the, the how I did it the entire time for the entire painting I just uh, stabbed and poked stabbed and drilled did the stabbing and the drilling who are you talking to Teslin no no because nobody's outside now because no, cause it's getting getting late and people are probably home having dinner eating their dinner and Enjoying time with their families. And why are there no cars coming? No cars because we don't live in a busy neighborhood. But how? People just come and go as they were as they're wanting to leave and stay home for the day. 
Would you hurt yourself? Yeah. Are you climbing on things again? Yeah. See, there. This is so much faster. I I think than because the time that it takes for me to pour them out, shake the tray, and shake the tray to get them flipped up, and then do my drilling and then pouring it back into the container. When there's just little bits like this, I find it way faster just to do it like this. And, I mean, you can take it or leave it. It's just my um, experience. And I wanted to just show you all what, I, what I've what i done and what I continue to do. Now, in a container like this, when you have very little, it's easy to just find one and poke it, you know, to get the ones that are facing up. So, um that doesn't really apply to what I was showing you with the stabbing because this one you don't really have to stab because you can see where they are and find it and and just uh, use it which is what I've seen people do before you know when they don't want to pour it all out just to get to one or you know I'll, I'll if it's just one that I need I'll just sometimes pull it out stick it on on the paper here and place it just a little shortcut but this the stab and drill I'll call it the stab and drill method can um, be used for an entire painting um, I personally um, did not do it when it came to large areas of one color um, especially now that I I um, learned to multi drill I definitely wouldn't either that because I mean this is you can't obviously can't multi drill with the container like this you have to pour those into the trays so um just an alternative method if anyone wants to try something new or just if they're thinking that it's just tedious pouring and and pouring back in every three minutes when you're having to switch colors like this you know this is an alternative that you can try if you like it great if you don't don't do it again that's all I gotta do you can say you tried though you can say you're an adventurous diamond painter and you're giving other methods a try so I did notice that um, in some of my videos, I went back through and was noticing somebody said they couldn't hear me. And I think it's because my I fan, it's been getting ship. hot. You see a rocket ship? No way. I see it. It's not an airplane. It's just a rocket ship. A rocket ship. Well, Tesla's watching rocket ships. No, but it's down in the city. It's in the city? I can see you it. can see the city from here? Wow, you've got great eyes. Uh, what was I saying? Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I was noticing that my fan, um, it's been really hot here, so I've had my fan on, and so I do believe my fan was causing um, some people not to be able to hear me, and my voice was really low on another one I was watching, so I think that has, again, something to do with that. So, I am going to either just do my videos in the evening when it's cooler, or I'm going to do shorter videos during the day when it's warmer, and so I can just turn the fan off long enough to do the video, or I'll just uh, do it when I'm doing a time lapse. You know, I'll try to make it a lot easier for you guys to hear me, because I know it sucks when you've got your volume all the way up just to watch my videos and then you go to watch another one and the volume's still all the way up and you forgot about it and you're blasting the whole house out and waking people up because you're at three o'clock in the morning dime in the morning diamond painting I, I gotcha so there's that and also I um, wanted to, to remind you that I'm having that giveaway at a thousand subscribers and earlier tonight <laughs> I was looking at my home page and it said that I had 900 subscribers and I was like oh yay hey 900 subscribers and I went 
and did I I went and responded to a comment or something and then I came back and it was back down to seven ninety nine. So somebody must have changed their mind or I turned somebody off and they decided they didn't want to watch me anymore. You know sad because now I don't have nine hundred subscribers and I come back five minutes later and I didn't have another one to replace it, so sad. I'm going to stick at and, and stay at 899, I promise. No, I'm kidding. I'm not I'm I'm not that sad. I know it happens. So, I wanted to work on my um heaven and earth design a bit, but I was in the middle of doing this. I was doing this because it was something I could just grab. I didn't have to set up my camera. I didn't have to do anything else. And um and then I watched Danielle's video. I'm going to lift this leg up because it's on my grid. There we go. And um, she had gotten her Heaven and Earth kit today. And I got all excited for her. And I'm like, yeah, I want to go work on mine now. And like, after I finish this section. <laughs> and I'm taking longer than I thought I would to do this section. So... I might still do some of it tonight. There won't be a video up on it tonight because, um, like I've told you how long it takes to do one of those. And I want to try something different with that as well. So it'll be more set up time than it will be normally. But you'll see more of it. I mean, I, as I've replied in some of the comments, um, I'd like to do two to three heaven and earth um the epic chronicles a week it might be more it might be one but i will promise once a week at the least that i will do a diamond the epic chronicles and if you get more bonus so i've almost got this area done but I don't have anything else I really want to, wanted to point out or say or anything. And my husband will be getting home really soon. And when that happens, um, the house goes into chaos. The dog starts barking. Tessin starts squealing and running. And um, he gets irritated. And it's just not a good place to have a video going at the same time. Do you want to come say goodbye or anything, Tesla? Because I'm stopping the video now. I'm going to say boo and goodbye. Boo, you said boo last time. Oh. Uh, this time I'm going to be um, a ghoul Nights at Freddy's. You're going to be a ghoul Nights at Freddy's? No, not that. Christmas Nights at Freddy's. Oh, are you talking about... Five Nights at Freddy's, or are you talking about Nightmare Before Christmas? Nights at Freddy's Christmas. I like that. That's two different things, though. Oh, Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights Roar! at Freddy's. Oh, okay. Bye, kids. I was going to be like Mango, because he has two heads, because he was the first animatronic. He was the first animatronics, and he's got two heads? Yeah. Mango? Mango. 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 Mango from Five Nights at Freddy's was the first animatronics, and he has he's two not, heads. I hope he's not anywhere in my city. <laughs> I don't think he's anywhere in your city. My All right, city. folks, um, have a good evening, and be sure to have fun diamond painting and relax your shoulders. I'll talk to you later. Bye! <laughs> Bye!